Welcome to episode 272, John Gokon Way, Boy Bicycle Vendor to Billionaire, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 272, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 272, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, no experience necessary. He started at age 15 with no experience, no capital, and a second-hand bicycle. Your symbol of success is really just a boy on a bicycle. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The symbol of success is actually how I started. Um, I started at the age of 15 during the war and um, bought a second-hand bicycle and uh, pedaled, started pedaling to all the markets around Cebu uh, with 30, 40 kilometers radius. When you start at the age of 15 with no experience and no capital, you learn a lot in going up. In competition, you, you're in charge of everything. You buy, you sell, you're, you're the warehouse man, bookkeeper, treasurer. So you learn, you realize. Lesson number two, the three pillars of success, hard work, honesty and perseverance. I that with uh, hard work, honesty and perseverance, you can compete. And that was what I was able to do as a young Lesson number three, do things differently. I did it on my own. I realized that I can compete and I did it. Lesson number four, he loves competition. Have your entrepreneurial instincts have a let you down? No. Not at all? It's good for me. I love uh, going to new things. I love competition. I, I really love competition. Tell me Lesson number five, look for higher margin. At age 30, he was a very wealthy trader, yet he ventured into manufacturing of food. He took a long, hard look at his company and correctly predicted that trading would remain a low-profit or low-margin business because of government policy. Food manufacturing would give him higher margin. Lesson number six, snack food and soft drinks are his cash cows. Never underestimate the profit of snack food or junk food. Lesson number seven, mixing business and pleasure. In travel, he got his new business ideas. I was in the U.S. and they were talking about um, budget airlines, point to point. So I took the flight, Southwest Airlines, twice, look at how it operated, uh, and uh, their prices were very low. So I said, Filipinos have less income, but more islands, 7,000 islands, they want to travel from one point to another, but they have to take ships, will take overnight, they have to go to hotels and all that. So I decided to buy four used planes and started a business. And <laughs> it, it worked. That's it. So you never really just travel for leisure? You're always on the lookout for opportunities? I travel for leisure, but in addition to that, I must have a business purpose. I can't enjoy just, just leisure, you know. Lesson number eight, never too old or too busy to study. At age 51, he earned his MBA from La Salle University. Prior to that, he spent 14 weeks studying management at Harvard University. Lesson number nine, let your instincts guide your business decisions. What guides your business decisions? Well, first, instinct. And then, now, the last 20 years, complete studies, but I, I think there's too much studies, too much paperwork, but still it's good. It shows your pros and cons and you know, work on it. That's, that's how we, we go into new businesses. Like we, we, we bought uh, a, a drugstore chain uh, two weeks ago, a sugar mill. Was it that was the common factor in your decision making for the purchase of these three? But it has a chance of making money and that uh, it has a future. The important thing is the future. If it's only short 
profits, no, I don't, we don't bother. You can Lesson number 10, disrupting established businesses. For example, in his 30s, he created his own brand of coffee, Brand 45, to compete with Nescafe, the Swiss Goliath in the Philippines. He won. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.